In this video, I'll be walking you through exactly how I was able to break into the digital marketing industry without any connections, education, or experience. My goal with this video is to break down the behind the scenes, literally every step I took from the messages I sent, the lucrative YouTube video that really helped me stand out in front of a hiring manager, all the way to the cover letter I used to essentially get me my first digital marketing job. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so here, as you can see on my LinkedIn profile, well, if I scroll down here near my work experience section, you'll see that I actually didn't study uh, marketing in school. In fact, I studied psychology and I was like, ah, I don't like this, so screw this, right? Uh, anyways, don't worry about that. Uh, but over here, you'll see I actually got my first job in the HR space. So I was working as a recruitment coordinator in the recruiting space. And then from there, I made a big pivot into the marketing industry. So you can see marketing assistant, digital marketing automation specialist, marketing specialist, digital marketing specialist specialist, all that good stuff. The reason why I'm show showing you this is because uh, I want to show you, prove to you that like this is possible. Literally, if you never worked in marketing, have any connections in marketing, or even have any education in marketing, uh, if I did it out of all people, then you, my friend, you definitely can do this, all right? So uh, let's get into exactly what I did. So uh, I was working in this recruiting job and I essentially sort of low-key hated my life and I wanted to work in marketing. I, I operated a side business while I was working in this recruiting job and in the side business, I love the Market a marketing aspect of the side business, and I was a career coach. So uh, through the side business, I started learning a lot about marketing. Oh, I love this funnel building stuff. I love this copywriting. I love generating leads. Oh my God, email newsletter. This is so fun. I love doing this. Um, and through the side hustle, I started realizing, wait, why am I in HR? Why do I do HR when I really like marketing? Like that's literally where I wanna be. So I made the big decision and I was like, screw this. I'm gonna quit my job and somehow break into marketing. Uh, the advantage I had was I knew some series of unconventional job search strategies that I could leverage to break into the industry. But you can imagine I was there in my room and I was scared to death. I was like, did I make the right decision? All the coworkers I told about like me wanted to break into marketing, are they making fun of me right now? Ah! All these feelings sort of came to mind, right? And I was kind of going through this weird like anxiety period. And I was like, you know what? Screw this. I'm going to make a plan and I'm going to make this freaking work, right? So I devised a plan and uh, this is essentially what I did. So first thing I did was I knew I wanted to work in marketing, but specifically I knew I wanted to work with a small team of really smart marketers. That was a very number one key thing for me in my new workplace. So I knew I wanted to work in an agency, a digital marketing agency specifically. So first thing was I need to figure out what are the digital marketing agencies here in the Toronto area. So very simply, I Googled, uh, digital marketing agencies in Toronto. And then you can see over here, there's like a bunch of different agencies. Uh, all I'd have to do is just scroll down and then I get like a list of all these different digital marketing agencies here in the Toronto area. Now, I don't have the Excel sheet, but I actually kept a tracker of all the different marketing agencies I would be interested in. It was like a big Excel sheet with like links to the website and the company's name and all this stuff, right? And eventually uh, doing this research, I found one specific company that I really, really actually was interested in. And they were called Candy Box Marketing. And you know, just by, just by their website and all that stuff, you can see that they were really cool. I, I loved what they were doing. I loved the vibe of the company. And I was like, yes, okay. I need to somehow work in this company. I need to break into this somehow, get someone to refer me into a role or, uh, you know, on, on, top, on top of getting me to refer me into a role, I need to show them that I actually have the skill sets to be able to be successful in the agency. Okay, cool. Well, at least now at this point, I know exactly what kind of company I want to work in. So now that I knew I wanted to work in Candy Box Marketing, I went to LinkedIn and I searched up Candy Box Marketing because I knew that if I can somehow convince someone who works in this company that I'm first a likable enough to refer into a role in this company. And second, I have the skill sets required to be successful in a role within this company. If I can just establish those two things, I knew I had a solid chance of breaking into this agency. So as you can see, I got, went on their uh, LinkedIn 
page essentially and I click this little tab over here uh, 24 employees and after clicking that I had a list of all the different people that worked in candy box marketing and you can see there's like a bunch of different people and I knew when I saw this list I was like okay cool now I just need to somehow convince one of these people that I'm good enough for a job there and hopefully get a job there. Like, I, that, that's the next mountain I sort of had to climb. So I was kind of going through this list and I was like, okay, this is a little intimidating. I, I, do I really know what I'm doing? This is kind of scary, whatever. Uh, anyways, I was going through this list and uh, specifically I knew that I needed to reach out to uh, a senior team lead, a manager, or someone influential within the company who had the power to make a referral and you know, refer, some, refer me into a job. So I, I was scrolling through this uh, list over here and I decided to send out a bunch of messages to a number of people here on this page. Um, but more specifically, I'm gonna go over the message that actually helped me to get a job. Now keep in mind, I did this process for other digital marketing agencies as well. So I would literally look them up on LinkedIn, send all the managers there a message on LinkedIn. Um, so it's not just specifically for Candybox I did it for, but I did do it for other agencies. I'm just trying, I'm just showing you the one, the route that actually worked for me. So it's, remember it's a numbers game. Uh, just because you do it one time doesn't mean it'll be successful. You gotta do it a number of times, okay? And I'm just showing you what worked for me. Anyways, I sent a message out to everyone here in this in this like little list over here, uh, as long as they were like a manager or someone influential. And then I uh, I sent I found someone's profile, which is really interesting, and they were actually worked at Candy Box Marketing, and their name is Mafuz over here, my friend Mafuz. I'm good friends to him with him this day, and uh, I was like, okay, cool. So this person, um, you know, they're obviously a brand manager at Candy Box Marketing. They've been there for. They've been there at Candy Box for 10 years. So like, I feel like this is sort of my way in. So, uh, you know, I need to get this guy on a phone call with me to like basically get him to understand my personality, what I'm all about, and hopefully refer me into a role. But I knew that I couldn't just message him being like, hey, can you give me a job? Hey, here's my resume. Can you refer me into a role? Hey, do this. Can you like, I can't ask him for much, right? So I gotta be very careful with my messaging and how I basically uh, approach him essentially, right? So I was going through his profile and everything and I noticed that he was like the host of a podcast and he's the author of a book. So I went on his Instagram and uh, I, I looked at his post and was like, wow, this guy's really, really interesting. It seems like he's doing some really cool stuff. So I decided to consume his podcast. I skimmed his book and everything. And I got a really good idea of like what he was all about. And then I had an epiphany moment, you see. I, uh, in, in, and in this epiphany moment, I realized, oh, this is my way into a conversation with this guy. And I'll show you what the exact message was, okay? All right, so as you can see here, this is the exact message I sent him. And I'm gonna break down this message to show you why this is effective and why you should never say like, hey, uh, here's my resume, can you give me a job? Hey, can you refer me into a role? Don't do any of that stuff. In fact, follow my exact message that I sent him and I guarantee you that you're gonna have so much more success when you reach out to people on LinkedIn, okay? So let's go over the message. Hey Mafuz, I've been noticing your podcast and your book on Amazon and I absolutely love your content since I find it so relatable, right? So again, I led with like some, uh, the first sentence essentially established that I did my research and I got to know this guy. I didn't just like randomly send out a cold pitch. No, none of that. Instead, I got to know them. So the odds of them replying to me and actually caring for me is gonna be much more higher compared to someone who just sends off a cold message and doesn't give a damn about anything, okay? I'm looking to get into the digital marketing space and I was wondering if I could ask you for some career advice over a 15 minute phone call during lunch and this this sentence over here I want to break it down for you a little bit so notice how I didn't say uh, can you help me get a job again I did not say that but instead I asked him for some career advice now the reason why I asked for career advice is because first it sort of implies you're looking for a job in a very indirect way so they're going to be assuming you're already in the job search process you're looking for a job and over here you'll see that uh, I asked him for a 15 minute phone call during lunch specifically 15 minutes which 
pretty much anyone can do and more specifically during lunch so then you know they can just probably spare 15 minutes during lunch it i i basically sent this message with the intention that it's going to be almost near impossible for them to say no to me and you can see why this was effective and over here you'll see hi leaf can you do tomorrow at 11 a.m awesome perfect my number is blah 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 we got on a phone call now during the phone call and this is really important is it was 80 percent him talking and 20 percent me talking and the 20 percent that i talked was mainly like asking for advice like genuine advice of how i can break into the digital marketing industry he knew i was looking for a job technically because i was asking him for advice around how to break into it but the key here is I was asking for advice. I wasn't trying to sell myself. I was like, oh, look at me, 15 years, look at me, uh, certifications. No, 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 my friend. It was all about him and how great he was and how I can like maybe pick his brain just a little bit, all right? So uh, during the call, honestly, I was a little nervous. I'll, I'll be honest with you. When I first got on the call, I'm like, dude, like I feel like the universe aligned in some way so that we can get on this call. And anyways, I was being really awkward and weird at first. I remember feeling cringe because I was so nervous regardless when you're getting a call with whoever it may be a senior manager a hiring manager whatever it is you want to make sure the conversation is about them and not you make sure you're asking for advice and 80 percent of the time they should be talking you know you know um have you ever had a cousin or a little cousin come up to you and they're like Hey, Joanna, Bob, Muhammad, whatever the hell your name is. I'm nervous about going into university. And I was wondering if I can maybe ask you for some advice just for 15 minutes. Is that okay with you? And you probably were like, yeah, oh my God, I'd be honored. And then during the call, they were asking you all these great questions. They were taking notes and they were so curious about you. It sort of made you feel special, right? You, can't, you probably left the conversation being like, man, that was, that was really, really nice. I enjoyed that, right? Well, my friend, that same effect is what you want to replicate here when you're on the phone call with these people. The same feel-good effect. Because if you read the book, How to Win Friends and Influence People, you'll know that great conversationists are people who talk only 20% of the time and the other person talks 80% of the time. So keep that in mind. Anyways, we got a phone call. I took a lot of notes and this is what I did that really helped me to really stand out for my foos over here. So he basically gave me a very specific piece of advice. He's like, take your side hustle, make that a work experience on LinkedIn and make sure you include digital marketing terminology in that work experience. And because of that, and because uh, you included the terms, the recruiters are gonna reach out to you for a potential job. And I was like, this is actually smart. Let me try this out. So I executed his advice. I made a work experience and I made my career coaching stuff and I optimized it for marketing related terminology. And what's interesting is uh, I, got actually, I actually got a message from a recruiter being like, hey, I have a job opportunity for you. It's a great salary, all this good stuff. This recruiter ended up being very like flaky and nothing really happened. But the key here is I implemented his advice. You can see here, I followed your advice on making LinkedIn experience on my side. That's all filled it with keywords. After that, I got a message from a recruiter uh, for a role. Your strategy worked. You can see that, right? And um, that really, I believe that really helped me stand out because most people, they'll get on the phone calls, right? Universities will teach you, university career coaches, they'll teach you, oh, if you want to get a job, go on a phone call with them, do an informational interview and ask questions. And then from there, you'll land a job somehow. But the truth is 90% of those people who get on those phone calls, they don't actually execute on the advice. They just go on the phone call, forget about the person the next day and just like go on with their life and not, never land a job. But you are not 90%. You are not that 99% that doesn't do anything. You are the one who actually executes and stays aligned to your goals. Am I right? So I executed on this piece of advice. Then he mentioned to me that there's a potential opening within the company. And uh, he was highly considering me for the role. Now, at this point, I was like, okay, okay, I am excited. Oh, I finally got an opportunity into a job that I want in marketing. Holy crap, in marketing. This is something I've been dreaming of and it's right here. So I can't 
F this up. Do not, whatever I do, do not F this up. So I decided to go above and beyond with my application and I believe this is exactly why I was able to get the job in my first, get my first digital marketing job without any connections, education, or any experience for that matter. So you can see over here, this is the cover letter I made. I'm not gonna go too much into detail. It was pretty self-explanatory. Three points why I would be a good fit for the role whatever right but this is this is the key here right i'm gonna click this link over here i made i basically to really help me stand out and to really secure me for this dream job that i wanted i decided to create a youtube video where i walk the viewers or mafuz or daryl the founder of the company here uh, I've walked them through how to get more attendees for their work social media workshops literally by changing the words on their website page. Let me give you an idea of what the video looks like. So you can see here in this video and damn have I lost weight. <laughs> But you can see here in this video that I'm actually walking them through how to rewrite one of their landing pages on their website so that they can get more attendees for their online, for their, vir not virtual, I'm missing virtual, so they can get more attendees for their social media workshop. And literally it's a whole video where I break down exactly what to do. And the whole thing was 20 minutes long. <laughs> I remember it's funny, uh, Mafuz, now that I'm good friends with him, he told me afterwards, he's like, yo, when you sent me that video, I was pissed. And I was like, what, dude, like, you, you were pissed. You were pissed. Why? Why are you pissed? And he's like, because you're telling us, the marketers, what to do. And I'm like, oh, well, I'm sorry, bro. Like, that sounds bad. I didn't mean to do that. And he's like, but here's the thing. Ha everything you said in the video was totally right. And after like five minutes into the video, I was like, maybe this guy has a point. And what I loved the most about your video, Leaf, was the fact that you smiled and you laughed and you made jokes and you messed up in certain ways. And that really showed me what your personality was via this video. And by the time I was done watching the video, I knew I wanted to hire you. In fact, I actually watched the video multiple times and I shared it with the entire team and everyone was so blown away that we knew we needed to hire you. And I, and I, and I, listen, I heard that and I'm like, whoa, like this is, this is the effect that it had. Because from my end, I'm just making a video, 20 minute video, how to optimize a vi uh, landing page and send it over, right? But I didn't know the effect that it would have on all these different people. Anyways, you can see, after I basically made the whole video and everything, uh, I messaged Mafuz letting him know I made the video in my application. So here's what I said. So hey Mafuz, thanks again for sharing that link with me. I've gone ahead and applied, fingers crossed that it will work out. To stand out from other applicants, I took your advice. Ha ha ha. See? Execution, my friend. Execution. I made an entire video where I demonstrate how Candybox can get more attendees to their advanced social media workshop just by changing some of the copy you guys currently have on your website that's promoting the workshop. I've included a link to the video in the cover letter itself. Feel free to have a look if you are interested. Uh, thanks again for everything. And obviously, I'm very impressed. Well done. I spoke with Daryl and I will bring you in for an interview in the upcoming weeks based on Daryl's availability. Stay tuned. You can see I ended up finally getting that interview and because I've worked in recruiting, my job was to literally interview people. I was able to have a, deliver a solid interview performance. And uh, from there, I essentially got hired into Candy Box Marketing. And now if I go back to my LinkedIn profile here, and then from there, you can see I went from an assistant to a digital marketing automation specialist, to a marketing specialist, to a digital marketing specialist, uh, and completely revamped my entire career path without ever having studied marketing or had any connections in marketing or even worked in marketing in the past through an internship or anything like that. And uh, that's how you do it. So again, recap real quick. Make a list of all the different companies you wanna work for. Reach out to the senior leaders within each company ask for career advice and do some research about the person that you're reaching out to, execute on their advice so that you really stand out and they know that you are fucking serious as hell, and then create a project of some sort that really makes you look qualified for the role itself when you apply for the job, all right? So I think that's like five steps right there. And I promise you, this does require a lot of work. I'm not saying this is easy. In fact, here, here's, the, uh, here's the truth, okay? 
you are gonna watch this video right now and maybe you're job searching, maybe you're looking to break into digital marketing, maybe you're already in marketing but you wanna go into a new role. I guarantee you, and I'm sure you can agree with me on this, if you replicate this exact process for all the job, all your dream jobs that you want, there is almost no way that you will not land your dream job. Sure, you'll have to do this a couple of times and sure this will like require a lot of work, but isn't having your dream job worth it, right? And, and again, the sad truth is 99% of people watching this video this, they're not, you're not going to be executing this, but for the 1%, and I know you're watching the 1% that's watching this video and you're like, okay, I got the formula. I'm going to do it. I'm going to execute. I'm going to do it. I'm going to break into digital marketing. I'm going to get into a new role, whatever it is. That 1%, you are literally the person that I am speaking to right now. So take what I taught you right there. This is how I did it. Replicate the process for yourself. And I can almost guarantee you, if you do this a number of times and don't give up, you, my friend, will land your dream job no matter what industry you are looking to get into, whether or not you have connections, education, or even experience. So my friend, I hope this video has been helpful. My name is Alif. Be sure to subscribe to my marketing newsletter down in the description of this video. And if you enjoyed content like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And lastly, uh, follow me on Instagram if you wanna keep up with my life or if you have any questions around digital marketing and what it's like to be in the industry. Anyways, with that being said, my name is Alif and I will see you, my friend, in the next video. Peace out, y'all. Peace out.